and we're reading one tenth over here. Been looking at that. That's one and a half tenths. That's probably two there. And if we get a, and it remains at two. Come back a little bit. Two. And I cannot see. It just dips at the bottom there. So there's no obvious uh, bump. I'll just check the other side. No obvious low spot in the middle of the level, but it seems to want to spin. Um, try and zero it. Uh, let's go the wrong way. Counterintuitive. Depending on which way you've got the stand set up as to which way you've got to turn it. I cannot see. An obvious lump in the middle. <laughs> um, whoa, I've just come off. Um... And yet, it seems to me, if I move these, I did take a video earlier, it's pretty easy just to tack on the end. It just seems to float just a little bit. So just, another thing I tried was um, to, I don't know if I'll be able to, yeah, this it's very hard to do because of the surface finishes, um, like a, Amatone finish. Whether I can, I'm pushing on the other end of the level. Um, whether I can see a rock, but there is a the slightest jitter. But I think it's more to do with the fact that I'm actually moving the level physically, and obviously those the bumps and the, uh, the bumps and the lumps on the hammer tone um, make it move all over the place so I really can't see any uh, rock and yet like I say it just feels like it's um, just floating a little bit on the on the plate so I'd love a bit of a uh, an idea of what um when I'm, whether or not that's that's good enough, or whether or not I should scrape the cuts out of the level a little bit.